Hello everyone. Today I am sharing a layout with you um, using the um, some Chamel Lean products from the Never Grow Up collection and the Field Trip collection. Um, I cut a bunch of these tags out using a few metal dies, um, one of which I is from scrapbook.com and the other uh, is from a company I believe it's called Honey Bee Studios. And my plan is to just take these um, tags and put them at the bottom of the page and kind of have a border of tags going across the page. I got this idea from Crop Cat on Instagram. I will link her layout below so you can see what inspired this layout. And I'm just taking the striped paper and putting it at the top. This is probably one of my favorite uh, papers from the Chamel collections. And I love this wood green as well. I inked all the edges with a vintage photo. And I'm wood green paper down a little bit because I want, like I said, the tags are going to be at the bottom. So I want them to have um, quite a bit of room to be the focal point other than the picture on this layout. So I'm just taping that down and I apologize in advance for any lighting um, that may change during this uh, layout. I was having quite a bit of technical difficulty. My camera cut off several times. Um, my lighting changed because the the time of the day changed and I just had so much difficulty with this but eventually the layout came out and the video came out well so it is what it is <laughs> now here I am laying these tags down the tags are cut out of several um, just scrap papers that I had in my scrap stash um, they're not from any specific like Chamel collections or anything. They are just from a variety of different collections. I believe that red zigzag paper is from a Chamel collection though. I believe it's from the, um, not the Never Grow Up collection. It might be one of her newest collections. Maybe it is the Never Grow Up collection because <laughs> that is her newest collection. Just excuse me while I think out loud, I guess. <laughs> and um, so this photo, um, this little frame that I made, I made it a while ago with the Never Grow Up collection uh, using the florals from that collection. And it was actually in one of my mini albums, but the mini albums are starting to fall apart. So um, I am incor incorporating those bits and bobs into layouts instead and I thought that this would go really well with the the pictures of my husband with the monkey. And you can see I'm just um, gluing down all those tags and now I'm going to cut the edges of the tags off um, the little bits that are hanging off the page. And I'm just cutting those away. Now the pictures um, that I'm scrapbooking um, there are pictures of my husband when we went to the botanical gardens. They have a section um, where you can go inside the monkey cage and you can feed the monkeys and interact with them. And um, my husband, uh, they took a liking to my husband and this one particular monkey decided to just jump on his back and stay there the entire time. <laughs> And um, everybody around us thought that that was so hilarious. And I really wanted to document the special moment. And I'm going to take that strip and have it at the bottom. But um, I ended up cutting the strip a little crooked. So I take that away and then I get distracted. And I decide I want to have this paper from this 6x9 or 6x8. Um, paper pad from the um, field trip collection and I really like that because it gives me a space for journaling and it also gives some extra pattern paper to the layout that matches that 
um, those florals at the top very well. And now I'm just going through my stickers because the idea that I have is I want a bunch of little stickers down at the bottom to um, flow with the tags. I definitely want it to have this sticker that says best friends because um, we joked about how the monkey was his best friend. And I really like that everyday magic um, because the colors match perfectly. And I think the saying matches pretty well with um, the subject of these pictures as well. And I'm just going through my embellishments and trying to figure out what I can use um, near those tags. I think the monkeys took a liking to my husband because he is six foot two, so he was really close to them, um, you know, to the area that they were hanging on to. So I guess they figured. You know, he's just as tall as a tree. They're just going to jump on him. <laughs> it was a really cute experience. And I'm just adding more embellish uh, embellishments to the bottom. And just playing around with where everything is going to go. I don't want any stickers to, um, to cover up the holes or the, like, shape of the tag, I want you to be able to tell that they're all tags. The Explore sticker is from one of the boy collections that I have. And the Make, the Make Memory sticker, I believe that is from a crepe paper collection. I'm not sure which one, I'm, but I'm pretty sure it is crepe paper. And that one gave me a little bit of trouble um, just because it was bulkier, but I do end up moving it down because, like I said, I don't want any of the top of those um, tags to be blocked. And then this Hello sticker, I really wanted to use it because I felt like it fit the pictures really well, but I could not make it work. It was a really awkward um, shape, and I couldn't make it fit onto the page very well with the other embellishments. And I was pretty set on having all of the embellishments that I had already placed on the page. So um, that Hello does not make it onto the final page. I just could not make it work. <laughs> it was just too um, skinny at one side and um, fat on the other side. It just wouldn't work. And here I'm adding these foam stickers. Um, and my idea was to have them um, kind of look like they were confetti coming out of the tags. But it didn't quite translate to the page that way. Um, it looked more like they were just floating there than actually being like confetti. I think because they were all very similar sizes so it just didn't work. Even if I staggered them it just didn't work. So eventually I move start moving them down so they can be more a part of the tags. And I do like that, but I, um, I keep a few of them and a few of them I end up taking off because I feel like it's just a little too much. And right now I'm just gluing down that everyday magic. I'm using some foam tape to pop it up because I know for sure that that element is staying on the page. And then I'm just gluing down anything that isn't already stuck down. And I'm taking off those foam stickers that I don't want to be a part of the clusters. And I showed you some of those little stars. I'm going to be using these stars. Um, I got them from Daiso. And they are translucent and shiny and, and pink and green. And they look really cool. Um, I 
of course when I bought them I was like oh these are really cute but I don't think I'm gonna actually use these on a scrapbook page I figured I would use them for something else um, but after seeing the colors of the stars and the colors in this page it just really worked so well um, they gave the page a lot of extra sparkle which I kind of wanted that that sparkle confetti feeling coming out of the tags so it really um, worked with this page I'm so glad that I ended up buying them they're see-through but they're still colorful but they're not exactly iridescent so I don't really <laughs> know how to describe them they're just really pretty and they match the little stars in that everyday magic really well and this page has pink and green in it and sometimes the pink kind of looks like a purple um, hue so that worked really well too I just really liked it and it gave me that effect that I really wanted with the um, circles being confetti it kind of gave me that feeling but with stars instead just kind of bursting out of the tags and I'm just gluing a bunch of them down that particular star I realized it was missing a, a little limb And for the for the photo mat, um, like I said, it was originally part of a mini album that I made, but um, I haven't made mini albums in a while. And honestly, when I do make mini albums, I don't really use them. So um, I I am actually starting to take most of them apart and turn them into scrapbook pages. And I didn't even um, plan on using this particular uh, photo mat for this layout but I was just kind of going I just happened to grab the mini album and I realized that it would just work perfectly with this picture and the colors and it all just kind of fell into place now at this point my camera um, does decide to cut off and I ended up having to use my phone to record the rest which is why the lighting is super bright <laughs> And I'm just showing you what I did while the camera cut off. I added some of these pattern papers and the strip down at the bottom and a little tag at the top that says the story. And now I'm just adding the title. Um, I mess around with the title for a while. It's going to be monkey around. And the camera also cuts off. <laughs> My phone ended up um, messing up the clip towards the end so um, you're not gonna see me put down the whole title but I will pop some pictures up here so you can see the finished um, layout but like I said the title is just going to spell out monkey around and you can always uh, view the pictures on my blog and on my Instagram I will link everything below um, so if you haven't given me a follow, go ahead and do that. And here are some of the pictures. Um, this one's a little bit bright. Uh, I need to mess around with the settings a little more. Um, but yeah, that's my layout. And I did add some enamel dots and some stars around the page as well. Uh, and around the title. Just to make it a little more cohesive with the bottom um, where the tags are. So it kind of looks like the tags just burst and all the stars kind of went everywhere. I really loved how this layout turned out. Um, I'm going to add some journaling to the side, um, to that little journaling space just to tell the story. But yeah, I really loved how this turned out. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye.